roasting Las Vegas. The critics can dish it out, but can they take it? Roasted. I think it'll be fun to hear what the chefs around the city have to say back to them. I'm excited about today. No, I'm terrified. You're terrified? Yeah, well, I mean, these guys hate us. You know, I'm lucky enough that I get to eat incredible food every day of the week. Um, and the fact that you get to realize that so many of our neighbors don't and that they actually don't know where their next meal is coming from. So if there's anything in the world that I can do to help Three Square, I'm more than happy to, even if it means me getting reamed by some, um, some chefs. You know how many chefs would give a testicle to get up here and berate you? I had two different chefs offer me members of their hostess staff in exchange for proof of a good burn on John. I, I got so many texts when they realized that I was roasting, uh, you know, could you, could you just kind of slip in this and that? And then, you know, I figured it would come off as bias, so I just told them I'm going to try and have fun with it, and I don't want to be the guy that, that says anything wrong. It's really hard to roast a guy like Max because, you know, he's very prestigious. Um, you know, he speaks a thousand languages. Uh, he has a taste for fine things. He's very Romney-esque. <laughs> Al Mancini. He's a food critic with an obvious theme. Lady Gaga. Then we have Alan Max, of course. Plenty of uh, reviews from Alan Max. Max has been pretty nice to me. Well, I love Al no matter what. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out with Al. Me and Al are due to catch up a little bit, I should say. John, butt crack sandwiches. <laughs> John, you're idiotic, lazy, sloppy and stupid. You're a dipshit. You're fuck nuts. And if you want a good article, you better feed him in an afternoon when he's still hangover. <laughs> the other thing about meeting Al, you know, when we first met, I, I thought to myself, man, I never thought I'd meet that scary thing that lived underneath my bed. Oh, I love Three Square. I always try to contribute as much as I can whenever there's uh, any type of uh, monies or anything that are being collected for Three Squares. Then he goes, and pepitas. Why didn't he just call them pumpkin seeds? Max, because I'm a fucking Latin fusion restaurant. <laughs> so we get to use those type of words. Incredible chefs. I thought they put a lot of time and effort into it, and they were just mean enough that I don't have to go home and cry. The room was full. Every dollar three square raises is three meals for kids. What more can he ask for? Raise some money for the kids, you know? We all care about the, the, the quality of life in this community, people having good food, good fun, the, uh, the entertainment. Uh, there's no better community in the world than Las Vegas. Incredible night of entertainment. I laughed my butt off in the audience. Great. Missed the roast? Don't miss out on the next big event everyone's talking about. Join us at the Palms Pool and Bungalows, Thursday, September 26, 2013, for Dish Las Vegas and Raise a Fork to End Hunger. Brought to you by Three Square. Working together, we serve hope.